Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have I'm playing a bunch of Fruit Battlegrounds. I don't need to spawn with Sam. Um, I recently got the Nika fruit, which is Luffy's actual fruit. The one you know, where he awakens during the Kaido fight. It's pretty cool. I watched the anime. Honestly, when you went to your five, it was kind of it was kind of goofy. It was kind of goofy. Yeah. But uh, Fruit Battlegrounds Nika about a few weeks ago, and I finally got it. And when I got it, I uh, I have it almost maxed out, like two thirty five. Pretty good. Um, and of course, the bad things just keep happening. I'm gonna do a video. Um, I'm gonna do a showcase of Nika. I'm gonna to Wano real quick, so the graphics, you know, look better. Because for some reason, between Dressrosa and Wano, there is a huge graphics difference for absolutely no reason. Alright, here we are, Wano. I'm going to be showcasing the regular moveset, um, small little combo I found in non-transformed mode. And I'm also going to be showing off a combo I found while transformed. So, I'm going to the dummies. That's one. So, these are the dummies over in Onigashima. This is the first move of Nika, is uh, Rock Gun. You see, yeah, yeah, and I charge up, you see all those like, lightning effects and all that stuff. I like the soccer effect they added to it, like the black and red and orange and black lightning. And then, second move is Yo Red Hawk. I like the attention to detail with the flames. And then, when you use it, spin around. <laughs> and then, Rock Gatling. I'm gonna show you how much damage full rock gatling does so just the base barrage part of it does about 120 and then you finish it with a blast like you know red hawk which is an extra 65 plus like 20 burn it almost one shot to done look at that it less than like 0.5 hp and then finally we have red rock red rock you can charge it up for a while the charge lasts like 50 seconds, it's crazy. And this is gonna affect the damage for some reason. I think it would affect the damage. And last we have Drums of Liberation. For every single charge on Drums of Liberation you do, it's about a 5 to 7.5% increase in damage. So I see uh, how I have all four charges. This is doing 68, now it's like 84. And Rock Gatling should not one shot. Technically, if I did my math right, come on, don't prove me wrong here. Yep, it won't toss now. But, uh, well, I'm just gonna get to something I know you guys have been waiting for tier 5. This is the transformation, it looks pretty nice. It, it kind of blinds me though, a little bit. This is the first move spinning top. This is the second move. Dawn Rocky kind of grapple on him. Like, it's pretty decent damage. Then Mole Pistol combo. Number four is Rising Bolt. You don't really get to see the graphics to stuck they get stuck in a wall. It does 120, 150 damage. Then Gigant Stomp does like 180. Yeah, that's crazy damage. And then Bajrang Gun, I think that's the way to it. Oops. Alright, now for the time for the system that we're waiting for, Bajrang Gun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the, um, I like the cartoon sound effect that, that plays into it. And yeah, I can see this a lot more than 200 damage. For some reason, this dummy didn't get hurt. 
because they should be doing a bunch of damage. All right, now it's time for me to show you guys the combo. Well, I don't have much mode left. So the combo is Dawn Rocket. You get pushed back with the mold pistol. And then theoretically you can go Rising Bolt. The dummy's already dead. And while they're falling from Rising Bolt, you look in the air and you go, Wee! Throw them up. Gaunt Stomp. By the time they reach the ground, they don't have time to react. And it's one tap. It's super nice. Now it's time for the combo while not in mode. The combo will not in mode, you can start it with Rock, Gun, into Neo Redhawk, into Gatling. And once you're done with Gatling, you use Red Rock. The zombie's already dead, but technically you teleport to the person, and then hit them with the full 150 damage from Red Rock. And then the second combo is a little bit more interesting. I gotta wait for my comp. I, I, I gotta wait for my uh, cooldowns to come back. But the next combo is a little bit wacky. So, say I'm all the way over here and I want to combo someone. I can just go all the way over there. Do that. There's a barrage. Hit the full barrage. It's another 200 damage. And Red Rock. The like, damage is actually crazy for Nika. Like, jeez, the damage is actually wild. So, my overall review of Nika is that it needs nerf heavily. I feel, yes, it is the rarest fruit in the game at a 0.01% chance of obtaining, but personally, I feel. It is not balanced at all. Not even in the slightest. Like, I should not be complaining about this because, you know, I'm a Nika user. I should be enjoying how strong I am. But no, it genuinely annoys me because I don't get a real fight anymore. Like, I liked it when I was using, like, Leopard, Dragon, Thunder because I actually got remotely good fights while using it. But with Nika, all I gotta do is. Neo Red Hawk, Rock Gun, Rock Gatling, and then Red Rock, and does like 500 damage to their health. Just so much damage. I feel like they should nerf the stun time on all the moves by like, I don't know, like a quarter of a second. Something like that. So you can't just like infinite combo. I also feel like they should nerf the range on Neo Red Hawk, because it's really random. Sometimes I'll be back here and a person will be like all over my mouse is over here and I'll be able to hit them with Neo Red Hawk. But then other times they'll be like right in front of me, I can't even hit them with it. There's also another problem with Neo Red Hawk that I found. So if you're aiming at a person with Neo and there's a person right in front of that person, so the animation will go to the person you're aiming at, but you'll hit the person that you weren't aiming for. Let me show you it with the dummies. Let's say I can actually show you You see that? It, it, like hit him instead of the guy I was actually aiming for. It's really annoying. When we're trying to do like 2v2s, you'd actually hit your teammate. It's really annoying. So, I feel like the fruit is extremely unbalanced, not fun to do PvP with. I mean, unless, um, you're like me and my friends, I have a friend with, uh, maxed out dragon, and we do a bunch of 1v1s, and it's really fun to finish off with Bajra, right? because it's like the anime! It's like the anime! Oh my god. Anyways, guys, that was my review on Nika. Honestly, it's pretty good. Um, I'd just say it needs some nerfing, some balancing. And overall, it's an extremely good fruit for PvP. I recommend you guys getting it. Alright, peace out.